Hello everyone. Welcome to another magical Sunday stroll. It's me, Catherine Lovewell from Kind Mind Academy. And I thought I would share a little bit of the magic that I have been enjoying at Horsley Park in Surrey for a retreat. I have been spending some time in this glorious place. Just let you see some of the wonder and the magic. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love being around these extraordinary trees, spaciousness, all these wonderful grounds. Look at that. And this incredible building. I'll, uh, I'll give you a little bit more of a tour and uh, share my thoughts with you today. Look at the sky. So lovely. So I thought I'd begin with some mindful walking. Can't beat a little bit of grass to connect with the earth. To be with these magnificent trees. Look at that. Wow. I wonder how much history they have witnessed. Wow. And that beautiful sunshine. I'm truly blessed today. Another glorious day. Look at the size of that tree. The magnificence, the majesty, the connection with the earth. And I was blessed to learn a little bit more about the planet and how our ecosystem supports itself through the earth and the communication of the trees, all interconnected, all interdependent. Look at that. And so I thought I'd share this magnificent building with you, this extraordinary mansion. I love the way they've designed the windows, the colours and the flint stones. There's the towers, these are Horsley Towers. There's a beautiful wedding here yesterday. And this wonderful, serene space. Different greens. One of my favourite things when I was a, an art student to become more and more of aware of all the different greens in the trees and the colours. Wow, look at that. And so um, we've had the um, true blessing of being amongst this beautiful environment. We're invited to take some time out for reflection. These flowers are, are dedicated to Melanie and Gibbon. <laughs> we all know the magic of yellow. And so I'd like to sow a seed of compassionate reflection, how to bring a little bit more kindness and joy and compassion into your day and I recognize more and more that without these moments of spaciousness without this time I can get very easily sucked into 24-7 living you know look at this it's so pretty some lavender let's go and see the lavender and what I mean by that is I just don't switch off. And spending time in nature for me is definitely one of the most clarifying gifts I can give myself. To pause, to be still, to notice, and ultimately to, to relax.
And in so doing, when I relax, then creativity comes, spaciousness allows awareness, the rushing mind slows down, calms down. Look at these wonderful colors in the leaves. Look at that bright red one, it's in there. And it helps me really watch and observe myself in a more spacious and loving way. I hope it's not too windy for you. So I've been reflecting and listening to uh, some information around health and well-being, kindness, applying loving kindness, metta towards myself and others and how that can influence my thinking in a very helpful way so that I can live in a more skillful way and that's what I really want to do I want to be kind I want to respond kindly to myself and to others. And of course, when we're rushing and there's tension and there's pressure and overwhelm, and so many of us are, experience over, are experiencing overwhelm at the moment, then it's difficult to handle the additional things that show up in the world. So the news in Oslo and in America uh, I don't even have words and I don't want to fill your head with them particularly but to acknowledge that look at this one I love this one because it feels like velvet oh I wish you could feel that it's so soft I find it really, really difficult to then even know how to process the tragedies, the stress, the heartbreak, and the implications of new laws and such like what that means for us as women, as people of difference, as human beings. It's a lovely being. Looking forward to the new movie that will eventually come out. Will be the change. Look at that just glorious. Let's have a little bit of smell of vision Ah, oh, so gorgeous. And so my friends, I'll leave you with this one final reflection. I wonder if you can give yourself a little bit of space sometime this week. Maybe you don't have access to such beautiful environment right now, but maybe you can offer yourself something as beautiful internally. Maybe you could just take a pause out of all the rushing of the day and give yourself something that will be nourishing. Maybe just I'll offer you these amazing clouds one last time. Because it's clarity that will help us make choices that are kind, compassionate, supportive, helpful, loving, nurturing and nourishing. And it's much easier to give ourselves this when we step away 
from the rat race, the treadmill, the pressure and the expectations just for a little while. So sending you much love. Take good care, my friends. And until next time, go gently. Bye for now.